At around 4.45pm on the 21st of June 2007, a component on the Superman Tower of Power drop ride at Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom broke under stress, resulting in the accidental amputation of a 13-year-old girl's feet. This bizarre accident unfolded in a matter of seconds and is one of the most gruesome in the history of theme park ride accidents. The Superman Tower of Power is a relatively standard drop ride installed at several Six Flags parks around the United States. The model at Kentucky Kingdom opened in 1995 and consisted of a single 50 meter tower onto which was mounted a single car with seats facing outwards. Riders were strapped into these seats and the car would then be lifted to the top of the tower, held for a moment and dropped straight down to be caught by magnetic brakes just 7 metres from the ground. 13 year old Caitlin Lassiter was enjoying a day out at the park with friends when the incident took place. She and her friends had already enjoyed the ride once and opted for a second turn, a decision that would have terrible consequences for her. The ride began as normal, but during the ascent to the top of the tower, a cable sheared and fell down to entangle Caitlin and her friends. Riders screamed for the ride to be stopped, while Caitlin worked frantically to disentangle herself. She successfully managed to remove the cable from around her neck, but was unable to dislodge it from around her ankles. The ride operator, at ground level, noted unusual screaming from the ride. She telephoned the park emergency number, but when she explained the situation, the emergency responder misunderstood and told her that it was normal for riders to scream. At some point, the emergency stop button for the ride was pressed, but this was either ineffective or done too late. The ride paused at the top of the tower and then dropped as normal. As it fell, the cable around Caitlin's legs tightened and chopped off both feet at the ankles. Her shoes, with her feet still inside, fell into the catch net under the ride. When the ride car returned to ground level, riders found the harnesses locked. This was a result of the emergency stop having been activated and could not be undone except by a technician in an adjacent building. It took 10 minutes to release the riders, including the maimed Caitlin Lassiter. She was rushed to hospital and after extensive surgery, one of her feet was successfully reattached. Doctors could not save the other and Caitlin was eventually fitted with a prosthetic. After a long recovery period, she was able to walk again. The Superman Tower of Power ride was instantly closed and thoroughly examined. It was found that the manual governing the routine inspection procedures for the ride was out of date. The newest edition of the manual contained procedures for inspecting and testing the cable that would have prevented it from deteriorating to the point where it could break. The delay in the ride operator hitting the emergency stop was also cited as a contributing factor in the severity of the accident. The ride was, following this judgement, demolished. Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom was given a fine of $1,000 for failing to maintain the ride.